Hi everyone, it's Kate from The Fold Line. I am back this week with a new video. This week we are doing a video, a find that pattern on the new series of Sex and the City called And Just Like That. Uh, I did mention in my last video I was going to do this, so here I am. Um, I have had a look at some of the kind of core outfits from the series and gone and found the patterns for them. Um, let me know what you thought of the series. I it was I'm I'm a bit on the fence about it. Visually though, it was beautiful and the outfits were incredible. Um, they had the same costume designer um, Patricia Field who did all of the shows, and she was back to do this. And you could really tell it was yeah really interesting outfits. Um, so I'm going to get cracking. I've selected some uh, images and I found some patterns, and I hope you enjoy. So the first image I've got is this one of the three of them. Um, I really liked that. I thought it was quite interesting. I'm sure you guys found it too, because obviously when they started the show, they were in their mid, you know, the show was based on women in their mid thirties and now they're in their mid fifties. Um, and I like the way they kind of kept their style throughout it. I just, yeah, it felt very nostalgic. So let's get started. So on the left we've got um, Charlotte and she is wearing this sort of slip dress over a, with a cowl neck which is over a t-shirt. Um, the pattern that I thought for this one that was pretty close was the Sicily slip dress pattern from Mason. Um, this comes in sizes 6 to 28 and um, I thought this was really close. It's got that really nice cowl detail, it's got the um, straps at the front it's a really lovely simple pattern and I like the way that she's paired it over a t-shirt. Um, her one has definitely got a little bit more, um, you can see kind of further down, it's less of a slip. But I just thought the neckline on this was really similar. So if you wanted to recreate Charlotte's has got a bit more fullness in the dress, you could um, add a skirt pattern to the bottom. So you could cut off at the waistline and then add to, like a gathered kind of skirt underneath. But I thought that was a really good sort of starting point. I was really pleased with Carrie's dress. So the middle dress here, which I think is gorgeous. Um, the pattern that I thought was pretty, pretty perfect was the Lyra dress from Tilly and the Buttons. This comes in sizes 6 to 24. Um, I think it's almost perfect. Carrie's is a little bit more fitted. So if you wanted that, you could maybe size it down because I know this is designed to be kind of a bit looser, but it's got all of the details, the kind of uh, proper shirt collar, placket down the front. Um, it's got that kind of ruffle detail on the hem. I thought this was almost spot on. The only um, difference being is that the one that Carrie is wearing has got a proper cuff on it and the Tilly one doesn't, which to be honest is better because it's easier to make construction wise. So I've just saved you a little bit of time. And the dress that Miranda is wearing, I love this, this like long shirt dress and I wasn't sure whether I'd be able to find something and I was thinking, oh, I could just get something and extend it. But actually the Susan dress from Fibre Mood is almost, I mean, pretty perfect actually. So this comes in sizes six to 30. Um, it's got the pockets on the front. It's got buttons all the way down the front. The fiber mood one's got slits in the side. I can't see if um, Miranda's does. I sort of imagine that it would because it helps with movement and walking because otherwise you'd be doing that little like penguin walk. So I, I reckon hers probably does as well. It's hard to tell from this still. But yeah, I thought those three were really good options. So the next image I've got for you is another one where they're just at a restaurant. I think this was the first episode. Um, I thought, so the dress that Miranda is wearing, I thought this was gonna be really easy to find. It's a really nice V-neck, grown on sleeves, little like elasticated waist, and then quite a simple um, kind of straight, skirt on the on the dress i thought this was really going to be super easy but actually it was really difficult um the the dress that i found is a new look one so it's a new look n6413 it comes in sizes uh 6 to 16 oh no sorry 8 to 20. um so the image is obviously of the jumpsuit but if i show you the line drawings you can see the dress is almost perfect version c 
I thought was almost identical and actually it's really nice as a jumpsuit option with this as well and you can add different sleeve variants so there's quite a lot you kind of get quite a lot but I thought this one was really close to the one that Miranda was wearing right Carrie's actually I'll do Charlotte first so Charlotte I didn't put the blouse in because it's just a simple blouse but this skirt actually I thought was really nice with the kind of kind of um high-waisted with that kind of chunk before you get to the gathered gathered panel um so I found another new look actually it's the new look 6676 and um, this one was almost perfect actually the only um the, the picture that you can see is one of the variations there's another one with a straight cut skirt but yeah it has the gathering which was really similar and um, the only difference is that they've done it so that you can sort of see a uh, kind of almost like a raw roughly head a kind of um what's the word I can't think of the right word for it but you can see the top line of kind of there's almost like a ruffle rather than it being sewn into the seam and obviously this would be an easy alteration you could just kind of sew it inside and do like a classic gathering and it'll be very similar so yeah I thought that was a really good option sorry that was really badly described with very few bits of technical information gabbled at you um so this outfit of Carrie's in the middle this really kind of foxed me this sort of amazing it's a jumpsuit but I was kind of concentrating on the trouser bit they've got these kind of I'll show you another picture I think it shows you it more these kind of kind of floaty panels of the trouser so I had a bit of a look and I thought that um in terms of a starting point I haven't got the perfect one I thought that the Mirage Calotte and Trousers from Cami Made um, would be a really good option. Um, what do you think? It, it's got that sort of tie at the front, um, it's, so it has that sort of overlapping kind of excess panel. Her trousers are slightly not kind of less full than the, the Mirage Calottes, um, but I thought this was quite a good kind of starting point for that. For the jacket, um, I thought that the Yannicka jacket from Liesl & Co was pretty spot on. Um, this comes in sizes 0 to 20, oh, sorry, 8 to 20, and it comes with bus cup options. But it, it, was really, it looked really similar. It's got that same curved, really nice curved um, hemline. It's got that high collar. It's got no fastenings. And actually, what Carrie's wearing is in a very similar sort of style material. It's got that sort of... Well, the, the, the picture of um, the Liesl & Co one so I thought that was a good option for the jacket so next up is this beautiful dress and um, I have to say as a milliner I was really enjoying Carrie's um, headwear she had some really fabulous hats um, this hat I particularly loved the sort of off-kilter boater um, but this dress was really beautiful so quite simple sort of slip dress with these big statement sleeves um, the dress that I thought would be a really good option for this um, is the Vogue 1633. Um, it's high necked, but I think you could cut that off, but it's got that big sort of statement sleeve on it, and I think that would work really well. Um, the one that Carrie is wearing, I don't think has a seam at the waistline, but I feel like this Vogue dress kind of has pretty much all of the kind of features of that dress and that big sleeve. Um, you could also the Vogue dress got a big cuff on it and you could you could remove that you can make a really narrow one if you wanted to make it more similar to Carrie's 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 but I thought this one was a really good option if you're looking for that beautiful beautiful dress and that fabric of it is amazing as well so this jacket I actually have had some requests for this jacket um, which Miranda is wearing um, a couple of people emailed about it I searched and searched and searched and searched and I couldn't find the perfect jacket but because a couple of people have asked I figured that quite a few of you might be interested in it so the one that I found that the closest I found if you were looking as a starting point is the Vogue 9274 it comes in sizes um, 6 to 22 um, it's got that side fastening thing that was the thing that was really tricky so it's this sort of tailored jacket with that one 
button side fastening. I thought this would be a good starting point because it's got that overlap on it already. I think you could alter the neckline and it wouldn't be too tricky looking at the pattern um, and just remove all the buttonholes and just have one. Not perfect, but if anyone's got any suggestions, I'd love to know because this one really foxed me. I really thought there was a pattern for this. I was, I was quite confident, but I did a lot of looking and I didn't do very well. So next up, um, Again, I got a couple of emails about this particular top that Charlotte is wearing here, walking her lovely dog. Um, and I didn't put the skirt in because it's just quite a simple skirt. The top I thought would um, work well for this is the Lottie top from Anna Allen. It comes in sizes um, 6 to 16 and it's got elasticated around the top and elasticated around the bottom. The Anna Allen one, I will admit, is not as full as the Char a Charlotte's one, but I figured that if you actually made it a couple of sizes bigger, because it's elasticated, I think it would work. It would look more oversized like Charlotte's. So I hope that kind of works for you. I hope that's a good option. Um, next up we have got um, Kerry in this really lovely oversized jacket with culottes. Um, it's, I think it's when they're standing outside waiting to go to uh, a recital. Yes, I think this is the first episode. I really loved the sort of, it's almost like a men's tailored jacket over culottes. Um, and I thought she did quite a lot of this sort of kind of big oversized, which I thought looked really good. Um, so for the jacket, I thought that the Adriana blazer from Vicky Sews would work really fantastically for these. Um, it, it is a take on a men's jacket, it's oversized, it's got all the features that, of this jacket that Carrie's wearing. I thought this would work really well. Um, if you haven't come across Vicky Sews before, they come in different bandings, so different size bandings. So there's three different size banding, so just make sure you pick the right pattern for that. And it also can give you different heights as well, so yes. But I thought that was a really good option. For the um, track, the kind of culottes, I thought the Winslow culottes from Helen's Closet were a perfect match for this. Um, these come in sizes, it's to 34. Um, these are a really lovely pattern if you're looking for a kind of wide, kind of trouser culotte option. Um, loads of the sewing community, I'm sure many of you have made it and it's been a really popular one. But I thought this was almost bang on. It looks like the ones that she's wearing are made in a sort of crepe. Um, so I think that would work really nicely. So next we've got this lovely blouse from Charlotte. Um, I didn't include the skirt because again, it's just to me a circle skirt for this. Um, look but the shirt was really fantastic and I loved that kind of deep collar so the shirt that I found was the patina blouse from Friday Pattern Company this comes in sizes 6 to 34 this one was almost spot on buttons down the front it's not quite as fitted as Charlotte's um, but apart from that I thought this one was almost perfect um, and it's a really sweet pattern and loads of you guys it's quite new sorry when I say quite new because I've been away for a bit semi new and um, I know that it's been a really popular one so I thought that was a really good option so got two more um, the penultimate one is this amazing sum jump some suit jumpsuit that um, Miranda is wearing in this kind of deep red I loved this look and someone emailed and asked me about it as well this is another one that someone emailed me about I love the sort of crossover detail on the neckline. I think it's really beautiful. So the pattern that I thought would work really well for this is the named, oh gosh, I can't even, Alakai crossover jumpsuit. Um, I'll show you a picture. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close. It's got that crossover detail. It's also got this cutout detail at the waist, which I really like. And this was a, quite an old, um, an old, like, oh, old. It's one of names, I think it might have been even their first collection, so it's a, it's been out for a, while, a long time. But I think this is a really lovely pattern and would work perfectly for this. 
So last but not least um, is this really amazing oversized coat that Carrie is wearing. Again, I was saying earlier, again, another oversized item with kind of a full circle skirt underneath. Um, I found, and it's another Vicky Sews pattern, the Martina coat from Vicky Sews, which I thought would be perfect for this. It's got all the kind of men's um, tailoring details that this that the cat jacket that Carrie's wearing. Um, and it's made to be oversized so you, you don't you wouldn't need to size up you can just go for your kind of size for this but I thought that was a really good option so I hope you enjoyed that I hope you found that useful um you found some nice patterns that you didn't know about and now you can go off and recreate all the looks from Sex and City <laughs> um if you like these sort of videos let us know because we can do more of them and yeah I'll be back soon with another video bye